Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about Linux and why you should learn this operating system. So let's get started. Alright, so I just wanted to kind of address the Linux operating system because this is something that um, I've gotten a couple questions about and uh, people asking, well, not only what it is, but also uh, is it useful in any way as a computer engineering student? Um, will we be using this Linux environment or Linux operating system? And the short answer to that is no. Um, when I was an undergraduate computer engineer, I didn't really have any sort of exposure to the Linux environment. I didn't have much work or classes that involved that. It wasn't until I went for my master's degree with an emphasis in software engineering that I actually had any sort of exposure to the Linux environment. So for those of you who don't know what Linux is, I'm just going to give a short summary that Linux is a family open source Unix-like operating system. Linux is also written in C and assembly language. And it was released on September 17th, 1991 by Linus Trevalds. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I could put his name right here. So that's who um, created this operating system and that's when it was um, invented. So um, that's just a brief summary about it and I'm going to go into uh, reasons as to why you should learn this environment. So the first reason is that Linux is used on nearly every HTTP server. So a lot of these servers, a lot of HTTP servers are built upon this Linux software system. And because of that, having that ability to learn Linux and know what it's all about will just make it that much easier to navigate around the um, servers and their software systems. So if you want to understand and work with servers, then you'll want to learn Linux. The next thing is that Linux is basically a standard development environment. And what I mean by that is that way back when before there was Windows or Mac, it was just Unix-like operating systems, which is similar to Linux. Um, because of that, a lot of programmers had to program their software systems on that Unix environment. Programmers nowadays still use Linux mainly because programmers when using Linux they treat everything as a file and um, it just makes everything easier and simpler to use and to navigate around. So the next reason is the powerful native terminal and shell. When you log into the Linux environment, you can run um, system commands, you can edit files, go to different directories, you can do everything you need to do and modify on the software in that one window. So that's why I say it's very, very powerful. There's also a long list of different commands you could do to modify multiple files or change the names of multiple files on one line of um, command. For example, I wanted to change a word in like 20 files from cap to FY21, but there was 20 files. I didn't want to have to go through each one and just change that. But there is a command in Linux that you could use. It's called sed, S-E-D, and then you do a dash I, and then you just give it the word that you want to look for and replace, and then you replace it with the word that you're going to replace it with. So I just have the cap, and then I have the FY21. This is all you have to do to change those files, and that's just a little example on what you could do in the Linux system, whereas if I were in the Windows 10, I would have to go through each file inside each one and change those words, and that just takes up so much time, and it's very tedious. But in the Linux environment, it's very easy. One command, there you go, you're done. All the tedious work is basically gone when you are working in that Linux environment. Another thing, which is a big one, um, at least for me, is that Linux is an open source software system. So that means you can just download it for free. You don't have to pay for it. Unlike Windows 10, I think it's like $100 or maybe $200, um, not sure, but you do have to pay for that operating system. Whereas Linux, you could just download it wherever on whatever computer and you can use it from there. So it'll be perfect, especially if you're an undergraduate college student who doesn't have any money. It's just something Thing to to think about and to know that okay well you can always just download this system for free so the next thing is that Linux is very flexible and what I mean by that is that this operating system can be downloaded and installed on other operating systems so for example um, if I'm on a Windows 10 and I wanted to use the Linux interface. All I have to do is go online and I can download that operating system as a virtual machine or just enable it through my Windows 10 um, settings. Also, I could just add it as an extension 
an application that you know has that Linux distribution within it and then run that application. The next thing is that Linux doesn't limit the user's control to the critical system. So if you have a Linux operating system, then that means you basically have access to the entire computer um, and all of its functions. I do know that you know Windows 10, their operating system, they have limits on what the user can do and modify with the system settings. Of course, you don't want to um, edit something or delete something in the uh, operating system and then have it crash on you and, and it just stops working. Um, so I could see that, but at the same time, if you want that ability to change whatever you want, whenever you want, um, then definitely, definitely learn about Linux because you can do that. You have the capability of just modifying everything on the software system. So yeah, those are basically all of the major reasons why you should learn Linux. And I honestly think this is my favorite operating system ever since I started working as a full-time employee because at the time I didn't really know the environment at all and I didn't have any exposure to it. But when I started my work and I started working in that area, I was kind of, um, taken aback because it was in a terminal window and it felt like I was um, regressing. Like I you know, went back in time and I was a little uncomfortable with it at first. And it was kind of difficult to learn because it was just so different, um, especially navigating through the system and learning the different commands that you could use to modify, move files and do all of that stuff, even open a file or edit a file um, and the Vim editor, you know, all of that. It was just a huge learning curve, which is why it was really difficult at first and I kind of was reluctant to learn it. Um, but at the end of the day, I learned it and it was actually something that I really wish I would have learned sooner. So if you are someone who doesn't know about Linux or is unfamiliar with that environment, then I definitely suggest learning it as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, then please let me know in the comment section down below and thank you for watching. Bye.